for our next news special report. And now we unravel a saga that strikes at the very heart of justice and integrity in our republic. Imagine standing up for what's right, only to be met with retaliation so severe it sends shockwaves through the corridors of power. This is not just a story, it's a chilling reality for a whistleblower who dared to expose potential corruption at the highest levels. In a tale where truth becomes the enemy, we dive deep into the murky waters of power abuse, whistleblower termination, and the alleged misuse of federal funds by none other than Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. This report is not just about uncovering facts. It's a testament to the courage of those who refuse to be silenced. So stay with us for a special report that promises revelations so compelling you'll be talking about them for days. And trust me, you don't want to miss the final thought where we tie this all together. Before we dive into the depths of today's investigation, let's talk about integrity. Much like our commitment to bringing you the unvarnished truth, there is a battle against the misuse of what's entrusted to us, be it public funds or personal health. In the spirit of standing up against the misuse of resources, I want to share a parallel fight that many Americans are engaged in. I'm talking about battling excess belly fat. It's not just a matter of appearance, it's about health. Excess belly fat, much like unchecked power, can wreak havoc, lurking silently and impacting us deeply. And that's why we partner with this groundbreaking solution echoing our commitment to accountability and well-being. So get involved in this fight for health at TrimWithGary.com and make sure you take advantage of all of the details. Now, in today's special report, we're peeling back the layers of a story that's as unsettling as it is significant. At the center of the controversy is Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis, a figure who's become synonymous with scandal and questionable ethics. The latest chapter in this ongoing saga involves the termination of Amanda Timpson, a whistleblower who raised alarms about potential misuse of federal funds within Willis' office. Timpson's dismissal not only raises eyebrows, but also serious questions about the integrity of those sworn to uphold justice. The story begins in 2021, when Timpson, then an employee under Willis, voiced concerns about a scheme to divert federal grant money intended for a youth gang prevention initiative. These funds, according to Timpson, were being earmarked for extravagance and unrelated expenses like swag, computers, and travel, a clear deviation from their intended purpose. Now, despite her efforts to steer the office back towards ethical grounds, Timpson found herself demoted and eventually ousted, a move that seems more like retribution than reasonable management. Here is the clandestine recording that started the whole thing. Watch. If you had to give me a sentence, what is the sentence theme? Once I told him about his respectfully and in an email about his lack of leadership and the fact that he wanted to do things with grants that were impossible. And I kept telling him like, we can't do that and questioning stuff. He would take me off projects, tell people I wasn't doing what I was supposed to because I questioned him because I understood, I helped write that grant. I knew what was in that grant. He told everybody in front of Crystal, Deontay, everybody, we're gonna get, MacBooks, we're going to do that. We're going to get swag. We're going to use it for travel. I said, you cannot do that. It's a very, very specific grant. Took me off. I questioned Junior DA. There's kids in there from out of the, the, um, the county. All this took me off Junior DA. I did not want to do it. He made it look as if I wasn't doing what I needed to do because I questioned him. Because so, I knew for a fact Mr. Cuffey respectfully did not know what he was doing. So, period. So I respect that is your assessment. Um, it was clear to me that you and Mr. Cuffey were not getting along. And I'm not saying that your assessment is wrong. I want you to really listen to the words I'm saying. Cuffey, and this is my personal opinion to one woman to another, is dangerous to your administration. He tells people, when I reached out to you, he told me, oh, um, you think your word is safe? Um, exactly when you reached out to Miss uh, Willis, she called me and told me, she tell me everything. So once you reach out to her, she's going to reach up back out to me. So I didn't even go to HR okay, and he put Dexter's something. name on my PDP and I didn't even feel safe going to anybody. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I have three supervisors that have failed in this building. What's interesting to me, because I'm in a learning curve too, they each pretend to have a relationship with me that they do not have. Mm -hmm. I guess that's an intimidation tactic. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you felt that way, but you, Dexter certainly don't have no relationship with uh, right. Michael Cuffey. You were safe to go those places. Now, the audio recording of a conversation between Timpson and Willis sheds light on the murky dealings within the DA's office. Timpson detailed her detailed account of the proposed misuse of funds and her subsequent demotion after challenging her supervisor's plans lays bare a 
culture of corruption and retaliation. This isn't just about the misallocation of funds. It's a glaring example of how whistleblowers, those brave enough to call out wrongdoing, are treated within Willis administration. The gravity of the situation can't be overstated. Here we have federal grants, taxpayer money, intended to combat youth gang violence potentially being squandered on unnecessary luxuries. So this revelation comes amidst other accusations against Willis, including an alleged affair with a fellow prosecutor in the Trump case, further complicating her role as DA and casting a shadow over her office's credibility. But let's not lose sight of the broader implications. This isn't merely a local scandal. It's a symptom of a larger problem plaguing our justice system. When those at the helm of justice choose to silence dissent rather than investigate legitimate concerns, it undermines the very foundation of our legal framework. It sends a message that accountability and transparency are secondary to personal agendas and political machinations. Now, the termination of Timpson for her whistleblowing efforts is a direct assault on the principles of justice and transparency. It's a move that begs the question, what is the cost of integrity within Willis' office? This question becomes even more pertinent when considering the timing of Timpson's firing coming hot on the heels of her attempts to bring attention to the misuse of funds. Now, the saga doesn't end with Timpson's dismissal. The fallout from this case has broader implications touching on issues of misuse of power, ethical violations, and the mishandling of county, state, and federal funds. It's a tangled web of allegations that paints a picture of an office marred by ethical quagmires and questionable decisions. In the aftermath of Timpson's firing, records show that Willis's office continued to use federal funds for questionable purchases. This pattern of behavior not only highlights a disregard for fiscal responsibility, but also raises alarms about the stewardship of public resources. The need for a thorough investigation into these practices is evident, yet the response from Willis' office has been anything but transparent. The whistleblower lawsuit filed by Timpson against Willis and the subsequent libel and defamation suit shine a spotlight on the systemic issues within the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. These legal battles are not just about one individual's grievances, they represent a fight for accountability and ethical leadership in public office. So as we dive deeper into the story, it's crucial to remember the individuals caught in the crossfire. Timpson's experience is a harrowing reminder of the personal toll these battles can take. Standing up for what's right in the face of adversity is a daunting task, one that she has bravely undertaken despite the professional and personal consequences. This case against Willis is not just about the alleged misuse of funds or the, treat, or the treatment of whistleblowers. It's about the integrity of our justice system. It's a call to action for oversight, accountability, and reform. Jim Jordan, where are you? We're calling on you. Federal funds here. Now, the silence and inaction to, in response to these serious allegations only serve to erode public trust and confidence in our legal institutions. As the story unfolds, we'll have to ponder the ramifications of unchecked power and the importance of safeguarding the principles of justice and accountability. The actions of Fannie Willis and the treatment of Amanda Timpson are not just isolated incidents, they're indicative of a broader culture that needs to be addressed. The dismissal of a whistleblower for bringing to light concerns about the misuse of public funds is an affront to the principles of transparency and accountability. It's a stark reminder of the challenges faced by those who dare to speak out against corruption and misconduct. In our republic, where the rule of law is paramount, the actions of those in positions of power must be scrutinized and wrongdoing must be addressed. The case of Fannie Willis and Amanda Timpson is a testament to the ongoing struggle for integrity and accountability in public office. So as we continue to uncover the truth, it's crucial that we support the efforts of whistleblowers and advocates for justice. Their courage in the face of adversity is what keeps our institutions honest and accountable. And the story of Fannie Willis and the termination of Amanda Timpson is far from over. As details continue to emerge, it's essential that we remain vigilant and committed to uncovering the truth. The fight for justice and accountability is ongoing, and it's a battle that we must all be a part of. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. And now, my final thought. In closing, the case of Fannie Willis and the firing of whistleblower Amanda Timpson is not just a scandal, it's a wake-up call for every American who believes in the sanctity of our justice system. It underscores a troubling trend of power misuse, lack of accountability, and the silencing of those brave enough to speak out. As we navigate these tumultuous waters, it's imperative that we stand firm in our demands for transparency and integrity from our public officials. The very fabric of our republic relies on the principles of justice and the rule of law. When those principles are compromised, it's not just an individual or office that suffers, it's our collective trust and faith in the entire system. 
This, let this story serve as a reminder of the vigilance required to protect our rights and the importance of supporting those who have the courage to expose wrongdoing. The battle for a transparent and accountable government is ongoing, and it's one that we must all be a part of. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.